what we have is a extremely simple RC circuit. We got an input voltage, capacitor, resistor, and the output voltage is the voltage across that um, resistor. Rather, we're going to try to want to try to find the magnitude response of this circuit using um, using the Fourier the um, Fourier transform. So to start off, um, the way I like to do it is using the formulas for the capacitance in the S domain, the I guess the reactance of the capacitor, which what we learned in circuits two is one over CS, and it's just R, the value of R for the resistor. And um, as we know, the transfer function is what we need to find first for this, it is V out over VN, and we can find the formula for V out, just using a voltage division across that resistor, it's R divided by R, plus 1 over CS times the input voltage. So if we divide, V out over VN is equal to our transfer function. So H of S, we're still in the S domain right here, is equal to this formula right here. If we multiply everything by CS to get rid of that fraction right there, we have RCS divided by RCS plus 1. And so the next step would be to get the Fourier transform of it. It's pretty simple. Just substitute J omega in for everywhere you see an S. So H of J omega is equal to RC J omega divided by <coughs> RC J omega plus 1. <clears throat> now, using this right here, the omega naught is equal to 1 over RC, and substituting that in for where we see RC, or make it 1 over RC by just dividing it, we now get H of J omega is equal to J omega over omega naught divided by J omega divided by omega naught plus one and it's just pretty simple algebra and there we have our our um, transfer function in the frequency in the um, J omega domain now the problem asks, is asking us to find the magnitude response so in order to find the magnitude response of this we just basically take the absolute value <clears throat> which becomes get rid of my J there because it goes away. We're going to take the magnitude of it. We get omega divided by omega naught divided by the square root because it's magnitude of one square is equal to one. I'm not going to write that. Plus omega divided by omega naught squared. Quantity squared. And there's our magnitude response to this this extremely simple circuit. Now if we just take a minute to look at this and see what the magnitude would be like over a range of frequencies. If we take the limit as take the limit as um, omega approaches infinity, we'll end up with one. You know, simple algebra. We have a power to one right here and a power to one right here because square negates the square right there. So if we take a limit as omega approaches infinity, we get one. And if we look at what it does at zero, so at omega is equal to zero, the transfer function is equal to zero. So if we do just a really simple plot of this right there, and there's this magnitude. Basically, we'll look something like this where this is an asymptote at 1. So, using a little bit of common sense, look at that. We can tell this is a high-pass filter, because obviously, higher frequencies is closer to 1, lower frequencies, it's approaching towards 0. And um, it's kind of interesting, if we were to go back up to the circuit and switch the capacitor with the resistor, basically where if you follow the current going this way, you hit the resistor first, switching it like that, it would become a low pass filter. So that's kind of a fun thing to do if you want.